It was a cool day, Saturday afternoon at Bryant-Denny. Temperatures hovering around 45 degrees as Alabama took on Temple in the last game of the uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium as it stands, Coach. Well, Gus, it's uh, the, way it, the way it appears right now, that's the last game in Bryant-Denny Stadium, as you say. You know, we start the game off here uh, uh, like, a, like it might be a barn burner. Right. You know, we come in there, uh, kick the ball off. Our defense does a great job, stops their offense. Our offense takes the ball downfield and score. <clears throat> the first two times that uh, their offense has it and our offense has it, we get points out of it, and uh, uh, it looks like, you know, I think that's probably what a few of our players kind of started thinking, and uh, that, that it might be a little easier, and then we go back out there, and they, they do a few things, and they've got some real good players. They've got some real good defensive players. They've got some real good offensive players. And, uh, but it was one of those games that we, uh, that we felt like we should win. That's one that, that we're supposed to win. And those are, are some, sometimes you can get a little bit out of whack as far as your attitude and your, your preparation is concerned. With Mike Schuler going back to throwing a third down situation and <clears throat> pick it up there, Bobby Humphrey does a real good job of, a real good job of, uh, is that Eddie guy? Uh, of making a move on the play and getting open on man coverage there. Bobby Humphrey had a great day. He's a great running back, and he's going to have a great day every every time out. <clears throat> and he should. There's little Greg Richardson making a big third down catch also in the same drive. Well, Bobby not only Bobby runs the ball, the but he, he can catch it too. Well, he's, he's a tough, All he's around a tough, athlete. he's a good blocker. <clears throat> he's an excellent runner. He's a great pass receiver. You know, he just, uh, he does all the things that you like a running back to do. And his size is 190 pounds, 191 pounds. You wouldn't think he was a real, uh, real strong driving type runner, but he can run over people. He can run through people. And he's got a great attitude, too. too. Right. And he has that. He's, a, he's an outstanding young man. One of the best I've ever been around. Coach, don't you Al think... Bell it, getting a little congratulations <clears throat> down in the end zone. You mentioned it earlier. It <clears throat> just seems to be a tendency when you jump on a team like this starting off well, that you have a tendency to kind of lay it back. It can be. It can be. And, and a, oh, combination of, a combination of a lot of things. You know, the last two years, Dennis, I, I thought back, <clears throat> and I reminded the team during the week that last year we played, we played, we had to really play hard to come back in the fourth quarter to beat Southern Mississippi last year. That's right. This same weekend. The year before it was Cincinnati, and uh, you know the last two years we have not played that well <clears throat> against the Cincinnati or a Temple football team uh, this week prior to the Auburn game. And uh, I don't think our players certainly had had their mind on Auburn, but uh, you know they might have thought about it a little bit. And uh, third Doug Adam, he busted up oh, the middle. He is a tough. Uh, he is a he is <clears throat> one of our absolute most consistent football player. Well, he, seems to, he seems to hit the hole as quick, if not quicker yeah. than any back we've got. <clears throat> but he is, is getting quiet, get the ball down there to, uh, to Bobby down to shoot. Uh, it was on man coverage, it was on the blitz coverage. Chris Moore did a great job again yesterday, punting the football. <clears throat> Had an excellent day. Thought our kicking game was real good yesterday, uh, uh, throughout. It was a big play by their guy. I'll tell you, that quarterback impressed me. Uh, moving around in the pocket, keeping his eyes, good vision upfield. There's Paul Palmer, their, their fine running back. Uh, we held him pretty much the job. first half. Yeah. yeah, we did a good job. <clears throat> He's a good running back. Uh, but their, their quarterback impressed me as far as his ability to keep his eyes upfield uh, as he is scrambling around and made several plays. <clears throat> There's some good, strong, tough running right there by Bobby Humphrey. About He's five making yards, yards on his own. Making some yards on his own. <clears throat> I think that's the true measure of a, of a running back. How many yards does he make after his blocking runs out? That's you right. Know, how much does he make on his own? That's a great, great catch. catch there. That's one of the greatest catches we've had here in the, in the, in the last two or three years. With Alabama leading Temple 7 to nothing, we begin second quarter action. Van tipping on to attempt a 34-yard field goal. I'll tell you what, we're going to miss that young man right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guarantee you, I tell, I've never seen a kicker walk onto a field as a pure freshman and kick with such mm -hmm. confidence that Van Tiffin did. I mean, that year it, wasn't, it didn't take us but about a week to figure out, you know, who our kicker was going to be. <laughs> And he just came out with, with, with so much confidence, and uh, he was so consistent right off the bat. They were running a little bit of option, getting the ball to Paul, Paul Palmer again. <clears throat> Try it again, it doesn't work. There's Cornelius Bennett and company. 
Uh, Ricky Thomas had to play a great game, I think. Uh, Cornelius played real well. Kurt Jarvis played real well. Uh, you know, all those great players are going to play great every time out. Randy that's, Rockwell that's had a good game. That's what makes great. Randy Rockwell had a, had a fine game, and he does every time out. I've said oftentimes, if I had 22 players and keep them healthy, 22 just like Randy Rockwell, never worry about it. Never, <clears throat> never lose a game. But uh, he's a dedicated, tough football player that's nothing but a winner. Uh, in every respect, but uh, I just hope his knee's okay. He, uh, he strained his knee a little bit yesterday, hyperextended it uh, again, but uh, it's yeah, like we... he was telling me after the game, you know, he says, I can make it one more game, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... Uh, uh, he didn't complain. No, much. no, he doesn't complain. He's, just, he's tough. He's got great mental toughness, i tell you that. Yeah, and to be a football player, you need to have a... To be a fan when you do. There's Cornelius Bennett, Derek Thomas. <clears throat> There's Quake Whetstone, Willie Wyatt. Those guys in there having a little fun. But uh, I saw Ricky Thomas in on an awful lot of plays here. Here's Bobby Humphrey again on the toss. Little counter play back to the weak side. Off that toss action. Then we come up with a third down situation. Third down long situation, Al Bell. Real good throw by Mike good Schuller. Throw. Had to be just and perfect. good catch uh, <clears throat> there by Al. We'll get it down inside the 20-yard line. Let's take it on in and score a touchdown then. <clears throat> Our protection breaks down. They, they come in there and do a good job of covering us downfield, apparently. And uh, the coverage breaks down. We're going to kick the field goal, and he don't miss many of them. I can even tell you, he's not going to miss many of them. <clears throat> So here's another good job that he did, too, here several times of getting out of the pocket, maybe not finding this guy downfield, his Cornelius. That's Randy, isn't it? That's Randy, Randy Rockwell. He made play. several plays like that. You don't run reverses and little trick plays. He's going to stay at stuff home. Stuff like that. <laughs> not, not on his side. He just don't do it. Come on, Derek. <clears throat> here's one of those examples of running around in the pocket and finding his receiver downfield and make a big play. And I guess this is the place where they had two big plays. This draw and that one play that we just saw earlier on this one drive where they uh, where they finally get it in there for a touchdown, I believe. <clears throat> uh, the pass out here, drop it. It was good coverage, though, real tight coverage by Chris Good. Chris Good is playing really fine football. And uh, he did a real good job several times during the course of the game of man coverage of, of locking on his man. And uh, on a couple of long passes, I know, down our sideline. Now, that's where they get their field goal. 61 championship team honored at halftime of the ball game. Well, I understand we had like 40 members of that 61 team. That was Leroy Jordan, of course, there in the middle. Uh, you'd never know it. He's got a little few gray hairs on him right now. <laughs> Just a few. But, <laughs> but uh, it was really great to see a lot of those guys last night after the game uh, at the hotel. And uh, it, it, I tell you, it really does me a lot of good. Just to, uh, I wasn't a part of that group, uh, but it, it really enjoyable just watching them, uh, mm -hmm. watching them have fun with each other and telling old war stories and all. And I know it's I know it's great. We're gonna have to get our 64 and 65 team together, uh, Dennis, and uh, uh, have a reunion here here sometime. But uh, it was really great having that 61 team. Well, that's the group that just about started it. With yeah, Coach that was his first was national his championship. Team. I really believe that that was his team, and uh, uh, that was his uh, most most precious team. You know, it was his first national championship team, and I think the first one's always going to be a little special. My special, that's right. And uh, I think that was, and they were a special group. Uh, in every sense of the imagination, and we're just happy that they could come. We had another special group here yesterday. <clears throat> we had our mo our mothers, <clears throat> our players' mothers. Carolyn had a had a brunch for them before the game, and uh, we had some like 75 or 80 of our our players, our present players' mothers. Just great mothers, turnout, you know. <clears throat> and it was a great uh, a great turnout, like you say. And they just had, from all indications, they had a great time. And uh, so that's a special group. Well, mamas uh, need to be included in this. Like <laughs> because they're pretty dog important. You, you better know believe that? it. So we're just real happy that they could uh, they could come. Here's the, here they are in their quarterback. Salts has, has done a real good job of directing this drive for them and made a <clears throat> made one big play in it. <clears throat> Coming around, but there's our defense still, still fighting, 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 fighting. Don't want to let them in that end zone.
Hang in tough. Hang in tough. Man. Here's Paul Palmer, their, their fine running back. Here's Ricky Thomas making another big play. Great play. <clears throat> I'm getting a little excited. Making a big play. <laughs> Settle for a field goal. They come up with a with a field goal. <clears throat> it's two field goals. It's, it's two times that our defense has, has been a little bit, but uh, hey, when they get down there close to close to that goal line, they they keep them out of there. This is where we fumble a football on a kickoff and uh, do a good job here, Chester Braggs does, of recovering, recovering the ball. We hit a quick hit and play here with Doug Allen. Pop it out of there for about 16 yards, get it out of the hole real quick. You always like to see that. <clears throat> Come up with a third down seven situation, and Bobby Humphrey does a great job of uh, getting open, catching the ball, and then That's making good. that first guy miss to, to pick up the first down. <clears throat> can't quite hit uh, can't quite hit this third down situation there's the old Lau <laughs> their quarterback play action pass back does a real good job of getting the ball to his receiver downfield they got some real good good pass receivers outside with with really excellent speed and that was one of the things I was a little afraid they was going to do is come in here and try to <clears throat> go down the field on us about every other time they had the football uh, uh, throwing the ball upfield Here's a real good punt return by Greg Richardson. Gets it out uh, almost to the 50-yard line in great, great field position. So Alabama leads 10-6 to 6 going into the last quarter of play, but very quickly on offense, we'll pick up a touchdown. Well, I'm awfully glad we did, uh, uh, Gus, because we, <laughs> we had been bog, bogged down there and bogged down there. We had a few people that were nicked, and we were filling in here and there in our offensive line and so forth, but still... Uh, you, you get a little, you get a little worried as a head coach, or at least I do. Whether that's right, wrong, or indifferent, or, or usual or unusual, I get a little concerned about mm -hmm. this time, and uh, know that we can play on a little bit higher level, and and, and, and should be able to get points on board. There's Cornelius Bennett and and company forcing a fumble and, and turning the ball over uh, for the offensive team. Now the thing to do is is take advantage of it. Here's a great catch here. Uh, actually, it was here. not a catch. It was a penalty uh, on, on their people. Interference penalty, and Bobby Humphrey uh, real quickly takes it in the end zone. Do a good job blocking on that strong side on the tall sweep. And all of a sudden, we score two quick touchdowns, just 24-6. Now things are getting in the, in the right perspective. You know, we're, we're kind of getting things in the right, right perspective now. And then they, they come back. Their quarterback does a real good job of play-action pass there, hitting his receiver upfield. But uh, we're doing things in a little bit better way right now. <clears throat> Turn the ball turnover. over again. Cornelius turns it over. <laughs> Derek Thomas recovers it. And there's Wayne Davis over there to shake his hand for doing so. But uh, well, they get a little excited I tell you what, now, he they... is an exciting football player. I mean, he loves to play the game. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Here's no. Gene Jell. Gene has not been healthy the last several weeks. And... Uh, uh, he's pretty close to being that now. Here's Bo Wright, the fullback, out there catching a the pass. Chris Moore in the punt. We failed to pick up a third down situation there. Had an outstanding punt. <clears throat> that was a great punt there. Yeah, it was great right there, I'll tell you that. When you're taking down the ball inside the five yard line, he's doing a super job. But he had a great day yesterday. Well, the kicking game is so yeah. important. Yeah, it is. It really is. So, you know, different coaches put different importance on it as far as being a third of the game or, or more, more so than that. I just, I just know that it's, it's very, very important. There was a big play by their, by their passing combo. <clears throat> Here's Paul Palmer. Got to get him down. Got to tackle a back like, uh, like him because he's got real good lateral movement and quickness and real good feet in the hole. There's a shovel pass. <laughs> Point he says, hey, on him. I thought he was going to catch. Yeah. <clears throat> look what I found. Well, he's done. A, He's done a super job. I tell you what, you hate to lose a player like that, but he's got uh, a lot of great, great years to come. I tell you that. Pop it up. <clears throat> got offensive interference. Their receiver pushed off on Chris, Chris Good here, and they just hit a tough slant in there. We missed the tackle there, and he goes in for the touchdown. <clears throat> but that makes it uh, 24 to 14. Uh, still, that's in a little bit better perspective. Like I say, it wasn't a pretty game. Uh, we didn't play our best. Uh, uh, but then again, we didn't have to. 